part of your team are you most looking forward to seeing tested? You know, you always want to see your team's result, all of them. You know what I mean? Like, uh, because you can prepare them for everything, but the one thing you can't prepare them for is the real, you know, disappointment, the first, whatever the first bad break happens on Friday night, and how they bounce back, you know, and how, and how resilient are they. Um, that's the one you try as much as possible to, to coach them through that, but you just, you know, until you get that, you know, that, that shot across the face, you know, you, okay, now let's see, you know, do we put our gloves up or do we kind of sink them? So I think that's a big lesson uh, for us. I'm excited to see that. Other than that, I just want to see our guys go. I want to see our guys go play. I want to see us play fast on defense. I want to see us tackle, you know, same thing. I want to see us get into a rhythm on offense and, and, and just the things that I've seen on the practice field. What you really want is you just want to see all that show up on game day because there's a lot that has, um, team excited, a lot of it has our staff excited, um, and you want to get our fans excited from what we've seen um, out on the practice fields in August. There's a couple position names on this depth chart that I'm not a real football guy, but I'm not really familiar with, Viper and Star. Um, can you give us some kind of inside football on what, what those positions mean in your defensive scheme? And I know there's guys on this, this team that have played a 4-2-5 base defense for five years now, six years. What does a four three look kind of bring um, bring to you to your team and and how the guys adjusted to it? Yeah, so um, a star a lot of people call that their their Sam linebacker was star, and, the, and it, it's kind of a people have gone from calling it a Sam because it's become a little bit more of a hybrid position. You know what I mean? You know, the potential safety type body, potential speedy linebacker type body, someone that can play in space. You know, the game turn is such a spread offense. You know, he almost always has three wide receivers on the field. So people started calling that position by different names. Um, even a four-two-five can mean a lot of different things. That you know, is a, is the fifth guy more of a corner type body? Is the fifth guy more of a safety type body? Um, in our scheme, we've always had the ability to we just try to put our best eleven guys on the field, right? And that, if that is our fifth DB is better than our third linebacker, you know, guess what? And we we felt like we had one of the best nickels in the country at Penn State last year named Daquan Hardy. So. We tend we played a lot of four two five, even though our structure is a four three. You're just subbing one guy for one guy, and, and but all of our coverage is still you know behave the same way. Um, the viper position is just is basically what people would call their rush end. You know that's an end that you know often lines up to the boundary, can drop, can rush, um, and do those type of things. So, but it's more, way more fancy to call the viper, right? You know, what I mean? it, sounds, <laughs> it sounds cooler. So uh, put that on the bottom of your business card. Cool. But yeah, that's really all that type of stuff is. But uh, but yeah, I, again, I think. I always think people get too much into four three, four two five, three four, whatever. There's what really defines you coverage wise is, is what co or defense scheme wise is what coverages do you play, and how does your front play? Are you a, are you a, a attacking one gap style front, or are you a read and react, you know, two gap, gap and a half type front? And really, basically, how you cancel run gaps and how you play the coverage behind it is really what you are on defense. And there's a million ways to line up, um, but you can do it very different ways while you're aligned in the same in the same demeanor. Anything else for Coach? Thank you, Coach.